The longest range fire and forget missile system is an American AGM-114 Hellfire. It can reach up to a distance of 8 kilometers, and with most powerful modification, it can reach up to 11 kilometers. The system can be used from ground, water, and air. And thanks to a laser guidance, the system is 100% effective. My name is Daniel Salem, and you are watching War is Algebra. Watch this. The naval forces are a key component of the armed forces of Ukraine and an integral part of its defense potential. They are versatile fighters who control both the sea and airspace simultaneously. In this episode, we talk about them and their armament. The sides of the boat are clean, fenders on board, stow the fenders. This is the small armored artillery boat Bucha, the flagship of the river fleet of Ukraine's defense forces. The boat's design was created before Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, but its construction and testing fell during the active phase of combat operations. Specifications Class and type Small armored artillery boat Gears in class Displacement 54 tons Length 23 meters Beam width 4.8 meters Draft 1 meter Engines to diesel engines Speed 25 knots Economical speed 12 knots let me show you where we control our 55 tons of power. We're in the main command post of the boat. This is the commander's place, my place. From here, through the communication station. I establish contact with the leadership and manage to ensure the boat safely reaches its watch. Position or combat mission, all external factors, shallows, wind. Today's air temperature, everything is displayed on the commander's monitor. Here is the combat post of the electrotechnical combat unit, here. A serviceman directly controls the main turbines of the boat, its electrical power supply. This is our combat post, responsible for combat modules and conducting reconnaissance around. The boat's crew consists of five people, the boat's commander, to commanders who control the armaments. A motorist electrician responsible for the mechanical part of the boat, and an assistant who acts as commander if necessary. The Buja boat performs combat tasks depending on the given objectives. The boat is equipped with two 30mm combat modules. It also has a 7.6 to machine gun, AGS-17 grenade launcher. Each combat module is also equipped with two ATG MIS anti-tank guided missiles and portable anti-aircraft weapons for engaging aerial targets. The combat module is a specialized armament system that enables Bucha to effectively counter enemy drones, aircraft, and even cruise missiles from coastal defense to open sea battles. This is the four combat module. ATG MIS are installed here. These are ATGM cradles. Anti-tank guided missiles are stored here, which, during an alert and on the commander's order, we insert into their designated place to secure them. Before the boat departs for combat duty, the crew loads the combat module with these munitions, VOGs, a 7.6 to grenade launcher. 30 millimeters to open fire. The crew only needs the commander's permission. It all depends on target detection. But within three to five seconds, the module is ready to use. Each type of armament on Bucha has its own range of action. The automatic AGS-17 grenade launcher supports amphibious operations effectively striking the enemy in concealed positions. Anti-tank missiles on the boat are used to hit armored vehicles and low-flying air targets, such as helicopters, the manpads combat missile attacks. We also have camouflage means, a marine smoke bomb, in case of an air or coastal threat, or during combat with other boats or ships, a cloud is created on command. 
and the boat leaves the downwind part and goes for reloading or to replace the tape in the modules if the ammunition was used or sailed to the base. This weaponry is used during combat operations on land as well. However, the special feature of its application on water is that the boat goes where our defense can't reach. It's also compact, maneuverable, mobile, and changes its firing point quickly. The speed we give is 24 to 25 knots. To convert this to kilometers per hour, multiply by 1.8. All this makes Bacha an indispensable element in modern naval operations. We have the main mast, which flies the flag of the naval forces, and there is satellite communication, also a navigation system. This gray drum is an opto-electronic surveillance and targeting system. It rotates 360 degrees, searching for surface or aerial targets. When a serviceman finds an enemy, he starts tracking it. The system recognizes and begins to identify its movement characteristics, such as flight altitude, distance to the target. The onboard computer calculates these data and transmits the aiming angles to the combat modules for targeted fire. Upon detecting a target, along with the military, the red cap also starts working the commander's name for the thermal trap for the enemy, another effective element equipped on the armored boat. There they are, they are located on both sides, left, right, and in front. If a missile is flying and wants to hit the boat, the defense system activates, and in the direction of the missile. The system fires pyrotechnic cartridges, creating active obstacles. These obstacles mimic the boat's area, so the missile, which was flying towards the boat, targets the obstacle, thinking it's the boat. Meanwhile, the boat moves out of the downwind part, goes full ahead. As a result, the crew is alive and the boat is intact. Remote control of both combat modules is from the boat's command post. The main command post is armored with standing 7.6 to caliber shots, although I think it can withstand larger calibers. Using a joystick, like in computer games, the crew operates and aims the combat module. Both combat modules can fire at enemy targets simultaneously, but it's better not to do this. Shells fired simultaneously from both modules would meet about two to three kilometers away. Therefore, for the safety of the crew and the boat, the movement of the combat modules along the horizon line is slightly limited. The maximum deflection angle of the aft combat module is to this side, and similarly to the port side. Vertically, it can go above 90 degrees, but it's not practical to use it at such an angle. The safety of the personnel is paramount, so to protect our soldiers from shrapnel, debris, or fire, the boat is equipped with a survivability system, including a fire hydrant, hose, and nozzle. Also, near each combat module, there are emergency exits leading to the crew's quarters. When the boat is on combat duty, the crew lives on board. This is the commander's cabin. Below is my sleeping place. Above is a guest spot. For instance, if someone from the commanders wants to join me on a mission, all conditions for the crew's living, cooking, resting, and performing combat duty on the boat are provided. One of my favorite places is the campus. Usually, in these cabins, Soldiers rest only briefly, as the enemy can attack at any moment, so it's important to be at their positions. The light needs to be turned off. Attention, the training alert is over, the first combat shift is to take over. Watch this! A well-equipped army with weapons can easily destroy an enemy, but most importantly, save the lives of their own soldiers. Take care of yourself. This is War is Algebra.